Hi everybody, uh, it's sunny St. Louis here in the winter. I'm just going to record a video about how to do self-massage or self-massage on your feet using some nice acupressure tools that I've got. So I'm going to set that up, have a seat down here, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so today we're going to use a couple of different tools here. These are called acupressure pens. And um, obviously one's a bit broader, one's a bit more narrow. And uh, <clears throat> so yeah, one gets in a bit, bit, uh, a bit more fine detail. So um, obviously my feet aren't the most beautiful you've ever seen in the world, but that's not what we're doing here, okay? We're looking at people with bad feet. I've got a, a little lump there, different things. But my thing is, my goal here is to finally get rid of any chronic residual tension. So I'm gonna start at the very tip of the toe. And this is a great way you can massage yourself. I'll put a link in the bottom to, um, to where you can buy these tools because I find them very good. I find this one of the best places to start, just about right here. And you can do some deep breathing. <sighs> Move the acupressure pen around. Find a spot, see if it feels a bit intense. If not, just move it around. And then you can start to move down. So there's different bands. There's one that's coming down right here. That's called what we call the, the big toe belly band. There's other bands here that are joining into the Achilles. And there's a band going that way as well. So I'm going to work on this big toe belly band. And again, holding a spot wriggling, keeping the toe steady, and then moving it. So, almost everybody has tightness in their feet in, in different degrees, um, so it's, it's beneficial for everybody. Um, I recently got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes a couple of years ago, and I've had a bit of neuropathy in my feet where you get a bit of tingling and stuff if your blood sugar level gets too high. So I've been making some pretty major changes in my diet and reducing carbs and everything, but I still get a little bit of that. And this massaging myself with these tools does really help actually get rid of some of that discomfort. So sometimes you can get like calloused skin like I have there. Just, you know, do what your best. It usually covers a bit of tightness. Once you've done a couple of spots of, of holding and moving you can then start to like scrape it along and again see if you can start to feel it the band as a little wire under the skin okay And again, we can start to scrape through here with that more fine point. Roll over it, called cross fiber. <sighs> Do some deep breathing while you're massaging. That helps you. Deep breathing helps you to um, relax and to also release some of the tension that's actually creating that's being created here oh that's a particularly sensitive spot for me so i'm just going to hold that and roll over it and breathe into it and when you breathe breathe deep into your belly in an area in Chinese medicine is called the Dan Tian and it's just about an inch or so below your belly button and then we can follow that band down further again only move on once you've actually got rid of what I call the charge in it which is what's creating that level of uh, pain or discomfort or intensity make sure you're actually on that band and just work it up to a level that you're comfortable with Okay, so if 10 is where you're going to tighten up, you can work at 7s, 8s, 9s. But remember,
remember, keep that breathing going as well. And then just feel that band. And you can hold that pressure, increase it. It's like a nine for me now. And then roll over the band. So remember, it's not, it's not about how much you can handle. Everybody has their limits, of course. It's about working within your limits and letting go of it. Letting go of whatever it is that's creating that tension. And it's a very interesting question when we think about where does tension come from or what is tension? And stress can cause tension. We know that. If I can follow it up all the way up into the bottom of my calf here. Oh. Again, hold. Once you find a spot that feels what I call charge, just hold it and breathe into it. Let your breath do a lot of the work. It's like a guided internal meditation release. For want of a better bunch of words. As you come up here, you can start to use your thumbs. All right, and then that's what I call the first run. So then we can come in again and work deeper this time. So now I'm again feeling where is there resistance? What's still holding on? This is an area that is often highly charged in people. Oh. Hi, sweet boy. Don't knock the camera, please. You can come over here and say hi to people. There's going to be people watching this. This is my little son. Do you want to look at the camera? And say hi. People, I know you know Pearson right there right now, but people will watch the video. Well, we hope, if they want to. Why is my belly, your belly on me? So then I can record what I'm doing and post it uh. up on a thing called YouTube, which is like a thing on the internet, which is... What are you doing now? So I'm working, <coughs> trying to get rid of tension uh. in my feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found Why a really tight spot here. Well, just so that we, it's a bit pokey because the grass is a bit dead this time of year. Working Daddy's hands as well. Oh, I found a really good spot here. So remember, we got to deep breathe while we're massaging. You got paint all over your hands. You've been painting, hey? Yeah. Whoa, that's a really good spot. So when Daddy feels the sore spot, he's just gonna breathe into that. You wanna hold it? Yeah. Right there. So hold it steady. That's it. Oh, Daddy breathes. And we roll over. Remember I was talking to you about bands of tension? Yeah. Yeah. And this is a band of tension that starts off way down here. Right. Ooh. Ooh, you found a spot right there. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh! <Whoa. laughs> this has turned into how to get a massage from your two-year-old. <laughs> Not too hard. They're powerful tools, sweet boy. That's a good spot. We got this one as well. This is a bit bigger. Once I've done a bit of work with that one. 
then I can come down this band. Wait, wait, don't cover it. We have this one. Okay, I'll have this one. What's that? A dog. Why? Barking for some reason, I don't know. This is a really good spot right in here. In reflexology, these all relate to different points in the body. I have a good reflexology charts too. Uh, and this relates to just below the neck, so around the uh, throat, thyroid. Ooh, this is what I call charged, which means that it hurts a little bit. So we can roll over it and let it go and we're going to gradually loosen my whole foot up this way. Get rid of every bit of what I call a charge. Do you like massage Ephraim? Yeah. yeah. How do you like living in St. Louis? You miss Australia at the moment, don't you? Oh, okay, whoa. Yeah, you miss your toy lawnmower over there, hey? Oh, okay, whoa. Yeah, that's where we live in Australia. I like my lawnmower. Oh, you like my lawnmower there? Ooh, I found a really good spot right here. This what, one makes me want to... What lawnmower you got? Yeah, well, there I got a petrol lawnmower, haven't I? Here I got an electric one. And... Yeah. What lawnmower you got in the... In the Oh, this is such an intense what, spot. What I'm just hold you it. Guys in the world? That's a petrol one. Powerful oh, petrol mower. Because we've got a big property there. Why? Here we just got a suburban house. I'm going to start doing some massages here eventually once I get my license recognized, my Australian qualifications recognized in Missouri. But I am teaching in Vermont. Because there's no regulations in Vermont over teaching. So I'm going to be teaching there in June and September of 2024. Oh, I found a spot over here, Ephraim. Teddy's got a very intense spot. I need a band -aid. You got a little cut on your finger? Yeah, I okay. need a band -aid. All right, well, do you want to go in and see Mommy and get one? Mommy won't get the one. She will get you one. What one? I don't know. If she has some, she'll give them to you. Oh, this is such a nice spot right here. What was the other one? Just there. Were you the other one? Here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a bit ticklish from Daddy with his neuropathy in his feet. You gonna learn to massage one day, sweet boy? Uh. Yeah, start teaching with me. Next generation, you and Ellie? Yeah. yeah. And mommy and Nana. And ma yeah. And mommy and Nana. Yeah. Mommy and Nana. Well, mommy does help sometimes. Oh, so I'm holding you that spot do, going do, deeper. Do you want <sighs> mommy and Nana? Deep breathing. What, sweet boy? You, you can dance. Mommy and Nana. Can I what? N mommy and Nana? Do you tell Mommy and Nana? Tell Mommy and, and Nana. Nana? Okay, I will. You know, going in deep again. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what? That's nice, is Ephraim. You name? What is Mommy name? What is Ellie name? My name is Brandon. But what you can call Ellie me Daddy. Name? Ellie's name is Ellie. What is Mommy's name? Mommy's name is Cory Nicole. Oh, what is Nana's name? Marie. Oh, why? Mm, I guess that's what her parents named her. Oh. Yeah. So I'm just holding this spot here. 
No, not in my face. <laughs> You want a lawn mow with me? You miss lawn mowing? Yeah. Yeah, I like lawn mowing with you too. I want my other lawn mowing out of the Your other toy lawn mower? Yeah. Well, you can mix this one to my one, this one to Ellie Daddy? Your old one? Give yeah. it to Ellie? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>